Master my John. That's my. Right, so tell us a little bit why you're here today anyway. We're down here to promote Manx Lip Fest. Um, this, this year's uh, festival is going to be the third. Uh, we started in 2012 and we've sort of gradually built, built up each year since then. Uh, we've got another great team of authors coming across from the UK uh, and around Ireland, uh, as well as utilising a lot of local, local Isle of Man authors who uh, are going to be involved as well. And what was the inspiration for the Lit Fest in the first? Uh, we we went, to an, went to an event down at the Erin Arts Centre, Chris Ewan, the local oh, author, yeah. he, he uh, brought across three Scottish crime writers down at the Erin Arts Centre. It was a great night, really fantastic. And I just walked out and I was with a friend of mine and I said, why can't we do, there's festivals all around the UK, there's about 250 of them everywhere around the UK and Ireland. And uh, I said, why can't we do something like that over here? So I spoke to a couple of people, one including my wife, and um, stupidly she said, yes, let's do it. And uh, we, we spent about 18 months planning it and preparing it. And uh, as I say, the first one was in 2012, and we're starting to get up a bit ahead of steam now. I think people, more people know about us as we get on each year. Do you think there's quite a, you know, an interest in the sort of literature in the Isle of Man? Is it quite I, a literary? Th sort of I think so, yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're still trying to get the word out. Not everybody knows about us. And I think when festivals like this start, it takes a little while to build momentum and, and get the name out there and around the community. But um, you know, we, we each year we try to go to as many venues. We, we we could have held it in one event, one venue, and had all the events in one venue. But we wanted it to be an Isle of Man event. So we've 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 been to uh, the Erin Arts Centre. We've been to King, King Williams Co College, uh, Castle Russian, Ramsey, uh, Milne Town in Ramsey. We've been to Peel Cathedral, uh, Manx Museum. So we try to get out as many as wide as possible. And uh, we have a schools day each year as well, where we send a team of about twelve or thirteen authors out around about 20, 22 schools. So that gets the, the, the kids' authors out into the community, out into the schools, meeting the children, trying to inspire them to write and read and that kind of thing. So who you got coming over this year? We've got Sally Gardner, who um, is a very popular, very well-known, award-winning children's author. Um, Philip Reeve and Sarah McIntyre are a bit of a double act. They've, got, uh, they've teamed up for a series of books, and, and she, Sarah's an illustrator as well. Um, Crime-wise, we've got Mark Billingham, whose um, novels regarding the character Tom Thorne were made into a, a Sky TV programme. Um, he's been across a friend of his, Martin Waits, who's another crime writer. Uh, interestingly, we've got Neil Spring over. He's a, he wrote, his first novel was last year, and it was called The Ghost Hunters, and it was like a fictionalised account of the Bawley Rectory uh, hauntings from the 1930s, based around the real-life ghost hunter, Harry Price. And um, Harry Price came to the Isle of Man in 1933 to investigate Jeff the Talking Mongoose. So um, I've spoken to Neil and he's happy to talk about Jeff the Talking Mongoose <laughs> and Harry Price coming to the Isle of Man as part of his talk when he's here. So we're hoping to have him up in Milne Town on the Saturday night of Blitfest. And on the Friday night we're hoping to have him out with uh, one of the ghost walks around Castletown. Uh, doing a bit of a walk and talk, so looking forward to seeing him. He's, uh, it's a good book, I've read that. And then we've got uh, other children's authors. We've got Samantha Shannon coming over. Um, she wrote The Bone Season and the next book's out uh, in October. And she's been like, she's about 22. The books have been picked up by 20th Century Fox for a film series, and they're kind of like the Hunger Games type books. And she's been likened as the next J.K. Rowling and that kind of thing. So she's quite a big scoop to get her over here. And um, she's over, we specifically brought her over because we've got a, an initiative which we're going to start um, in, in September, um, which we're going to announce at the festival. And um, it's all aimed around young people are getting them to writing. Um, so which is, that's a bit top secret at the moment. We'll have more details. Uh, say a word about we'll it. have more details come September. Yeah. Yes. Well, have a great festival and cheers for speaking to me and have a good Tyndall day. Thank you very much, Jason. Cheers. Bye.